Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at the camera user interface difference between the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus and the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. So I'm going to launch the two cameras. And first of all, you can see immediately one of the biggest uh, difference over here is the single take on the S20 Ultra. There is a function called single take. When you're using single take, it allows you to take multiple photos on one go and it will combine all the various different photos from different scenes into one and then from there you can choose the one that you like. That function is not available on your Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus but there are other features. If we scroll across the menu here, I've got live focus, photo, videos and more. So if I go to more, it is pretty much the same. You've got uh, pro options, panorama, you've got food, night, uh, live focus and video focus is already in the menu down here. You got uh, pro videos, Instagram. Over here, you got Instagram. I don't see Instagram on here at all. Uh, it's not even on here. So, Instagram is not on here. So, I can't see Insta Instagram. Uh, Hyperlapse is still there. You got slow motion, super slow mo, pro video, uh, pro mode, which is pretty much um, like pro mode down here. Uh, if I tap on more, it's the Pro, they call it um, Pro Video down here, uh, Pro. There's no Pro Videos on this one. Over here, we've got uh, Pro Videos. Then at the top, you got Bixby Vision, both got Bixby Vision and AI Emoji on the S10 Plus. And over here, it's called AI Zone. So if I tap on that, you can see it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, maybe extra features on the new one. So here we got um, all, the, all the things at the bottom. So I'm just going to close that, get out of that. And then if we go down into the settings menu, sorry, so I'm going to launch the camera again. And if we go into the settings menu, I can't seem to go into settings. It's just all over the place. Okay, so here it is, settings menu. So if I tap on that, settings, settings you can see in the camera settings this one here is really is a little bit uh, dark so I'm just going to increase the brightness on the S10 plus to make it bright and then at the top here you got the intelligent features scenes optimizer shot suggestions uh, scan QR and smart selfie angle so I can see here on the S20 Ultra there is an additional features called smart selfie angle uh, if you go down to pictures, you got whole shutter button two, swipe shutter button two edge two, so uh, slightly different uh, features right there. Uh, you got safe option. I assume they would be the same. Safe options, they're the same. And then if you go to videos, in videos, um, you got AK settings, uh, resolution. So if I choose resolutions, and this is the settings for the resolutions uh, up to 4k UHD 60 FPS this one here you can uh, run on UHD 60 FPS at 4k otherwise you can choose um, 8k video up here and then you've got the full, full videos down here and one to one ratio so that's the rear video size and then you go down to the front video size front video side and here you got 16 to 9 and resolution up here you can have UHD uh, 4K UHD 60F uh, FPS 4K on the S20 Ultra so that is the difference for the front video size so I'm just going to go back down and then you got advanced recording options so this one here got zoom in mic so match the mic zoom to the camera zoom while recording videos. And then you got HDR which tone. This one here is auto HDR. Tracking autofocus. Then you got tracking autofocus with a selfie tone. This one here doesn't have that. This is an additional features on the S20 Ultra. And then we go down pictures as preview, grid lines, location tag, shooting methods. So they all have pretty much the same shooting method. And then you got the storage locations down here, shooting methods. And here I got the storage locations. 
um, then you got the quick launch over here this quick launch quick quickly press the power button twice to open the camera so that is gone on this uh, camera I guess it's that's because uh, the, the removal of the Bixby key and now um, the side button has limited function because it needs to assign to Bixby and other, other features so they will move the camera quick settings for the power button on the S20 Ultra and then you got reset settings and that's it so that is the settings differences for the cameras between the two devices as well as certain features uh, on uh, this one here so when you tap on the aspect ratio of the screen you can see over here if I tap on that this one here have an additional um, 3 by 4 with 108 megapixel at the top here so I'm just trying to get a focus on that there it is and you don't have that over here that is because of the new cameras available on the S20 um, Ultra and then you've got videos if I tap on videos again if you tap on the aspect ratios button you got the 9016 8k video that you can record and that's it thanks for watching this uh, videos please subscribe to my channel for more videos